Patrick here is that launching a new car or a new model is difficult for any auto company. But at the same time, Tesla is now trying to vastly increase its volume production. They only delivered 50,658 cars last year. So now they're talking about building 500,000 by 2018. So they both have to launch a new model and scale it. And doing that requires completely retooling their factory in Fremont with new equipment. So that's all in process, too. So they're building the machines that are going to build the machine all at the same time. Also in the Focus On section, reporter Brendan Greeley took a trip to a New England paper tube maker that beat back stiff competition from China. David Gore and I spoke to Brendan. How did this company come to your attention? Oh, well, you know, I was looking for uh, people who have been displaced by trade. And so this database uh, nationally is run by the Labor Department of people who have applied uh, for compensation from the Labor Department for you know, having lost their jobs to trade. And so I called 50 people in Rhode Island trying to find one person. I got one call back, and it was from a man named Mel Conier. So Mel called back and he said, I'm sorry, I can't help your story. I just wanted to call back and tell you we were going to lose 20 employees to trade, but we just got the company restarted, um, and we kept all 20 positions. And I said, well, that sounds like a slug for a So this is at the New England Paper 2 company. They are exactly as the name of one, based in New England. Pawtucket. Pawtucket? Uh, although Pawtucket really is how you say it. And they, uh, they make paper tubes, so the things that you find uh, in the middle of your paper towel roll, uh, that's made by uh, companies like uh, New England Paper Tube. So Pawtucket is really the cradle of American manufacturing.